been nearly three weeks now since Baltimore's Key Bridge collapsed, and now the FBI is opening a criminal investigation. The probe is focused on the lead up to the collision and whether the crew followed all federal laws. Six construction workers died after a cargo ship hit a support pillar, bringing the entire bridge down. 7 News Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell is live along the bridge site with the details on this new federal investigation. And Brad, what are you learning so far? Yeah, well, you know what? Typically, the FBI and federal prosecutors are very tight-lipped about their investigations when they are underway. But the belief is, is what they want to find out is, did someone make a decision on this ship to leave the Port of Baltimore knowing that they had a serious mechanical problem? Early this morning, small law enforcement boats pull alongside the 1,000-foot cargo ship. Our camera rolling as it appears federal agents board the dolly. An FBI spokesperson confirming they were on board the ship, conducting court-authorized law enforcement activity. Experts say that likely means executing a search warrant and signaling the launch of an FBI criminal investigation. Maryland 4th District Representative Glenn Ivey is a former state's attorney and federal prosecutor. It's hard to know for sure what exactly is going on, but they did announce that a criminal investigation has begun and they are, you know, um, executing a search warrant. So there's a judge somewhere that thought there was probable cause to believe a criminal act may have been committed. So uh, it's a significant step. U.S. Attorney Eric Barron issuing a statement saying they will not confirm the existence of investigations, but saying in the case of any threat to public safety or property, his office will seek accountability for anyone who may be responsible. Since hours after the ship brought down the key bridge, NTSB and Coast Guard investigators have been on board. Just last week, NTSB Chair Jennifer Homendy told a U.S. Senate committee that their investigation was focusing on electrical issues on the ship. Our investigators are on scene. They needed the assistance of Hyundai, who is the manufacturer of equipment in the engine room, to download data from the electrical power system and look at the circuit breakers. That is where our focus is right now in this investigation. That's one of the reasons Ivy says bringing law enforcement on now potentially signals new information has been uncovered about what caused the ship to veer into the bridge. The feds have been all over this, so the fact that they feel they need to bring in a different type of investigator or criminal investigators to take a look, I think, is something that we cannot ignore. Can't ignore it, Ivy says, but also he points out that even though there is an investigation and even though it appears a search warrant has been carried out, there's no guarantee that ultimately charges will be filed. He says it is often the case that investigations do not pan out. Bottom line, at this point, just don't know. In Baltimore, Brad Bell, 7 News. Brad, thank you. A Fairfax County 